Hi everyone, Thomas here and welcome back to part 20 of my City Living LP here on The Sims 4. So, if you didn't see the last episode, kind of something, well, a lot happened really. Um, when Vincent was in prison for his last days, which was great, Aaron came over and gave him some good news and bad news. The good news being that he can get him out because he knows somebody who works on his case and because of a lack of evidence, he can get him out early. And the bad news was saying that his parents have actually passed away. And it still hasn't really affected Vincent in any way properly. He's just kind of it hasn't really sunken in it kind of all happened so quickly and he thinks that Penny is to blame because if Penny didn't go to the police which she agreed that she wouldn't um, and you know she did and now this has all happened and he's missed uh, the last couple of days of his parents life and it just makes him so angry but when he came back to the house if you remember in the end of the last episode there was a man there, and he's he was kind of like a hitman agent, I guess you could say. And and he manages various different hitmen, and he asked Vincent to be one for him because he heard a little bit about how he managed to kill those two people, and he finds it amazing how he, he uh, how he did it and how it was kept quiet for so long. And he thinks with a little bit more practice, Vincent could have done it. So a bit of time has passed, and he's actually killed three more people. Now Vincent, I don't know why, but he hasn't been affected by it in any way, which is kind of a good way because it could really affect him later on. Um, but he's actually killed three people and he's went to him and told right I can't do this anymore and the man just wouldn't listen and he said there's one more person on the list if you don't do this then I will go to the police and it kind of makes Vincent really angry as you can see so he's got one more person to do and um, then he should be free to go and he'll get his money now Vincent still can't believe he's doing this. We're back in the same place here, but with an extra person to how Penny found out. Remember when she came in here and the two uh, remains like just like this were here and she found out, but this time there's no pictures on the walls, so there isn't as much evidence, but you know, Vincent's got to hide this. He's got to keep it here because the man has to see it first before he can take the bodies away. So, what a mess Vincent is in. Um, And, you know, we're, we're going to have to go and see what Penny is like because we still haven't uh, heard much about her recently. She's uh, been down on the low a little bit. So um, in a few minutes, we're actually going to head over to see Penny and see um, how she's actually getting on. So, you know what, we're going to uh, switch over to Penny and do that now. Okay, so we're back here with Penny and you're probably a little bit surprised about what's happening on screen here. So, if you remember, I think it was part 14. It was the night after Penny had moved in with Vincent and she said that she had to go out to uh, somewhere to meet someone quickly. And, um, you know, Vincent was a little bit suspicious because it was kind of late after the party. And Vincent decided to follow her and she went over to a bar in Oasis Springs and Vincent found her flirting with this man at the bar. And, you know, he just got so so angry because it was the day that you know Penny moved in after she found out being homeless and you know th th everything went apart from there and as you know she's living in this trailer now and time has passed and she's now back with this man and she's proposing to him now this is just absolutely crazy I thought Penny and you know Vincent had a really good you know um future together and they're actually getting engaged and he's accepted it and now they're getting married i know it's penny proposing to the man but you know it, it uh, she just didn't want to wait any longer she doesn't really face feel safe around vincent so you know she did want to uh, get this done over and done with so vincent you know comes back to her then you know she has something to say to him and this is happening so penny has like a new life for her but deep down she kind of feels like she really wants to be Vincent and she just doesn't know how she feels about this. She's kind of regretting it straight away that this is kind of like a bad idea, but you never know. Oh, what a mess this is. And, you know, she kind of just feels like she wants to just do this in to kind of... Oh my God, why are they doing poses now? I forgot to remove poses. Uh, she kind of just wants to do this for Vincent to show that I'm moving on and I'm not really scared of you anymore. So I think she wants to do is just literally elope immediately in front of her trailer. This is absolutely crazy. It was never the, the, the marriage that, you know, she dreamed of having, but... I mean, the marriage, really. The wedding that she dreamed of having, but, you know... Like I said, she's literally just doing this to prove to Vincent. She may, you know, have a wedding in the future where it's a little bit more serious, but she is doing this just to just to show Vincent that I, I'm moving on and I'm not scared of you anymore and this is who I really want to be with. But really, does she actually? I, I don't know. So they're actually going to get married here. And I, I don't know how Vincent's going to react to this once he finds out that this is the person that, you know, uh, he's she's getting married to. So, I don't know. I think that uh, Vincent wants to... Uh, I don't know, I think, oh my god, is Vincent in the area? Because, oh wait, oh my god, I think he's in the area because we can't invite him to hang out with the current lot. Let's just pause a second and have a quick look. Um, I don't see him, but like, oh, wait, is that him? No, oh, 
we <laughs> oh my god, bad CC. Um, mm, he should be in the area then because I could wait. Is he? I don't see him, but I, I could invite him over. So I don't know what's wrong. Um, hmm. I don't know because I think she wanted to let Vincent know that she is getting married and that she is moving on, but I can't see him anywhere. So let's just you know we'll maybe do that at a different point. But you know, they are getting mar married now and. I still, this is totally crazy. I don't really think this was what Penny wanted to happen. Um, oh my god, I tried to take a screenshot, but that totally failed. Um, I don't think this is what Penny wanted to happen, but, you know, it's, it's what you have to do. Anyway, are they going to move in together? I think so. Let's do that. Um, like I said, I'm I kind of repeating myself now, but just to say, they are moving in together just to prove to Vincent. Now, will this relationship work out? I really don't know. I feel like Penny wants it to because this is somebody who she actually really loves, but at the same time, Vincent is the one that he really wants to, that she really wants to be with. So I'm not too sure how this is all going to work out. So they have moved in with each other now, but there's only a single bed. They are kind of low on money, so I'm going to actually uh, maybe do that in the morning. I'm, I'm going to move back to Vincent now. Um, I don't know how he feels about this, really. Like, it's it's a bit shocking, I suppose, but, you know, I, we're going to have to see how he's going to deal with this. So I'm going to switch back to Vincent and see how he's getting on. Okay, so we're back with Vincent now, and as you can see, he seems to be in a good mood. Now, you know, he's just been thinking about what this thing, this offer that he got from this man, about doing this hitman sort of thing, and, you know, he's kind of realising how much money he's going to get from this, and how it's going to change his life. Now, he kind of hasn't really thought of the side effects about these backstories of these people, and how their families will be affected. He's kind of just been a little bit selfish, which is really not like Vincent, because, you know, he's normally one who's to help people, and to, you know, just progress other people's lives and help them get where they want to be um, and that's what he's just trying to do with Aaron you know with this gym thing that he's doing with him um, and it's really unlike Vincent to be like this but you know he is feeling a little bit happy and you know of course he doesn't know about the wedding or anything it is pretty late but he is in a good mood and he feels that he was a little bit harsh on Penny the other night when you know he was uh, uh, talking to her about you know um, thinking that she was the one to blame for the death of his parents which he kind of feels deep down she really is to blame for it but Penny is the one that he really wants to be with. So what I'm going to do, I, I think he wants to go over to, uh, wait, oh, he's watching TV. That's why he's doing all that. Um, he wants to go over and see Penny and try to work out things. Now, of course, he doesn't know that this man is living with Penny. So we're going to have to see how this works out. But remember, you know, uh, we're well, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how he's going to react to this. Let's just wait and see. Okay, so he's at Penny's trailer now and I'm going to get him to... Well, come in, but he's just saw this person walking out the door and like, who on earth is this? But wait, this is the person who already knows, who was in the thing. He's like, why on earth is he at Penny's house? So I'm, he, he doesn't really know what's happened. I'm going to get him to come and yell at him straight away. Like, what on earth are you doing here? Um, And, you know, he's kind of like thinking, wait, he just went into total panic. Like, what on earth? Penny said this was a total misunderstanding and that, you know, he, he was coming on to Penny. And now this is happening. Oh, my God. So I'm going to get, you know, him to go in and maybe uh, just go and see Penny and see what's been happening here because, you know, he, he doesn't really know. Um, and why can't I knock on the door? Wait, why, what's happening here? <laughs> uh, knock on door, okay, we'll have to click on the deck in to do that. So I'm going to come in here and see, oh, she was standing right there, okay. So he's like, who on earth is this person? And I'm going to, Penny doesn't really seem to be too bothered here, and I don't know what's happening. Oh my god, oh my god. And, you know, Penny's just going to tell him that I've, I've actually moved on, Vincent. I didn't really think this was working out for us, and, and, uh, uh, oh my god, and she's just kind of frozen there. So he doesn't want to break up with her because he knows that this is something that he really wants to be with her. And you know, deep down, he, he, she actually feels like she's made a mistake, kind of, and that he really wants to be, she really wants to be with Vincent. But at the same time, she is kind of moved on and she is in love with this other man as well. So it, it's really hard for, for Vincent to be doing this here. But, you know... Ugh. I don't even know. So I'm going to get him to come over here and maybe do some, maybe just fight with him because, you know, he's just really getting really angry here. Penny doesn't really seem to be reacting to it in any way. Um, but, you know, I think she should. Um, so let's, <laughs> she seems to be kind of enjoying it a little bit. So let's take a couple more screenshots here. So Vincent just feels really portrayed and angry about all of this happening. And, oh my God, what a mess this is in for Vincent. Oh. I can't believe it. So he, he seems to... Yeah, he actually won the fight. But, you know... I don't know why, but James doesn't really seem to be that bothered about Vincent here. 
he seems to be smiling with him and everything, which is a little bit unusual because they kind of absolutely detest. Did I don't even say that right? I don't even know. <laughs> and just hate each other. So I don't even know. I think what Vincent wants to do is just go home, and you know maybe just just think of Penny. Like how dare could she do this? They were on such a good note before all of this. How much Vincent has helped Penny, and now this is the way that you know she betrays him. And oh my God, let's just go back to the house and see what's next. Okay, so it is the next morning now and Vincent has just woken up and he's on the phone to the hitman agent. I don't know if there's a proper term for that, but that's the only thing I can come up with. And, you know, they're just talking about who's the next person on the list because um, he was saying, when Vincent was chatting with him uh, the other week, but well, not the other week, the other day, I mean, um, saying that he wants to stop this now and he's done three people and it's too many and he just can't be going with this. And remember, I said that the man said that he's got to do one more person, otherwise he's going to the police. And that made Vincent really, really angry. But, you know, he thought that the other three people that he's done he hasn't been too affected with it and he thinks that the money that he's going to get from this is kind of substantial so he's going to go ahead and do the last person and he is just talking about who the person is and a little bit of information about him and he's just realized that that person is James Penny's new husband so the next person on the list is Penny's husband and I don't know how he feels about this as you can see he's feeling a little bit happy because he could be getting a, a, a way to get back with Penny uh, which isn't a really good thing to do I don't think but I don't know but as you can see he is in a little bit of a good mood today he is still feeling a little bit more angry but at the same time he is m much more happy um so what i'm going to do is actually invite over um james james who is penny's husband and you know just talk to him and just get to know each other a little bit more and put their troubles behind them i guess and just you know put on a little story to kind of feel like he isn't really angry anymore and oh james doesn't want to come so i guess what we're going to have to do is maybe um hmm i don't know what we can do here actually then Let's see. Uh, well, Penny should be at work, so I think what a good thing to do would actually be to go over to Penny's apartment again, well, trailer, and uh, see if we can find him there. So let's head over there and I'll meet you then. Okay, so we're at Penny's apartment now. Well, I keep saying apartment, I mean trailer. And uh, luckily Penny is out of work, so it's only him today. So I'm going to get him to come here and, you know, maybe just talk to them and try and put their differences behind them, which is going to be pretty hard to do. As you can see, he just wants to... He actually really hates James, but this is the only way you can get around him and, you know, try to maybe think of something. So, um, I'm going to get him to, you know, maybe try and get them to get themselves on a good track again. They seem to be getting along kind of nicely here. And, you know, Vincent's just putting on a nice little show to show that actually, I think we should, uh, we should put our differences behind us. And um, Vincent's just going to head off to the bathroom and maybe just uh, ring up uh, uh, Dylan, I think he's called. Well, I don't even know his name. It's like Lock gang or something like that uh, let's just check what his name is lock gang yeah so i'm gonna get him to uh, chat with him and just say that i'm at the house now and um i'm about to do it uh, and i hope to get my money soon and we're gonna go ahead and do this now okay so vincent has just came over here and as you can see he is now dying now Vincent has a little bit of a superpower, I guess you could say, in how he managed to do this, but he actually has. Now, I don't want him to witness the death. And as you can see, he's kind of clapping now that he's killed him. And what I'm going to get him to do is maybe wait until the Grim Reaper or somebody comes because he needs to take the body away. Now, I don't know how he's going to be able to do this, but, you know... Oh my god. So Vincent's kind of feeling a little bit happy now and kind of like happy with himself for killing this person, which is, you know, totally not like Vincent at all. Because, you know, he's one to help Sims and uh, be a good person, which, you know, we know Vincent for. And he's doing this sort of thing and just isn't like him at all, really. So he is now dead and uh, like Vincent is feeling a little bit happy now because maybe he's got Penny back. I don't know how Penny's going to react to this, how she's going to find out, but that's something we're going to have to try and think about So. I think I'm going to try and get Vincent to get the body up somehow and, and get the uh, spirit here. If we can't, but the spirit, is that the, even the right word? I don't know if we can even do anything. Let's try and reset him if we can get the thing. Yeah, that's the only way we could do it. The, the Grim Reaper was a little bit busy today, so we had to do it ourselves. So we do have the thing here and we're going to put it in our inventory. And um, we're going to end the episode here. So I'm going to get him to do this. I'm going to get him maybe in the start of the next episode to head over to Lok Ang's house and to propose all these bodies to him and see what he thinks and uh, maybe get his money. So as you can see, Vincent's feel a little bit unusual about what he's just done. And at the same time, he is really happy because it could be a good note for him and Penny to get back on track. 
So, he's going to get out of here quickly before Penny comes back. And I'd also like to say um, that this should be the last episode of City Living before Christmas. Now, I know I am recording this June, December, uh, but I think the next episode will be in January because I have a lot of Christmas videos to record and um, my, my LPs might be on hold just for like a week or two. It's just because I have other videos that I need to get done. Um, I'm not putting it on a break or anything. It's just, uh, it's just so I can get other types of videos done. But don't worry, I'll be back as soon as I can for City Living and we'll have so much more to go through soon. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you leave a like. Leave some comments down below about what you think will be happening next in the storyline. Do you think that Vincent will regret what he's done? Do you think it's a good decision for killing him and maybe getting back with Penny? Do you think it will be good for killing all these people to get the money? Is that a good decision of him? Leave all those thoughts down below in the comment section. You also can use the hashtag TTVCL on the gallery to submit sims and lots of you want to for this LP if you have any other suggestions. You could leave maybe a little backstory with those sims so I can incorporate them into this LP. So thanks for watching, also make sure you give this video a share and subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you all next time, bye!